Welcome to this video lecture series on Android application development. Today, we are going to learn about the project structure and Hello World program in Android Studio. So with that, let's begin by opening the Android Studio. Here in the start menu, scroll down and find the Android Studio here. And let's just open it. Okay, so the Android Studio is open here. Now, from here, we'll close the tip of the day and we'll create a new project. So, create a new project from the file. After clicking the new project, we'll have this window open. So, here we need to insert the name of the application name. So let's say we'll give the name of our app to our app. This will be the company domain name here. You can have of your own also. And combining these two, that is the application name and company domain, the Android Studio will create a package. This will be the project location. So then click on next. Now, there are various devices on which we can create Android applications. Here we will be creating an app for supported in phone and tablet and here you will have to choose the minimum SDK level that is here we will choose the API 15 for ice cream sandwich and we'll click next. Now here we will choose an empty activity among various activities available here and click next. Now in this window the activity name must be kept as main activity for every project so let's keep it like this let's click finish So here we can see that our project has created. Now uh, we'll give some time to it to build. So our gradle build is finished. Now we'll see the project structure of an Android project. We will divide the project structure in three categories. One is source file, the resource file and configuration files. Here we can see this Java. There are two files. One is main activity.java, another one is activity underscore main.xml. So this Java file comes under the Java package. There is another folder we can see that is REST that stands for resource. Here the static non-executable codes exist like we can have the string files we can have images here we can also have this xml file here that will be responsible for the user interface of the app and this folder here manifest it contains another xml file we'll open it here yes this is called the android manifest.xml file this is actually a configuration file here you will see all the meta tags all the components needed for the app and the permissions needed for the app now, if you consider the view of the Android project, we can have two views. This view you can see here is the Android view. We can switch to the project view here. So this will be the project view and we'll mainly be working on this app folder. So you can see this is the source file and we have the Java package here. Here will be our main activity.java. Now in this example, we'll be creating the Hello World app. That, that is an app which will show the Hello World onto the screen. Now let's switch to the XML file which will be responsible for our UI. You can see this is a design part of the UI part. And here we have this palette section here. 
in which we have this uh, widgets here we can have text components layouts constraints etc and if we switch to text part of this xml file we can see the code here that will be responsible for the ui also uh, there are various uh, tags here which we'll learn in the later videos here for hello world app we want to display this hello world text this is written here and all other tags are given some specific values now let's uh, look at uh, how we can run this uh, program and see how our app is working for that for that we can use a different device and connect it to our pc so that uh, we can see the app running on the device or else the android studio provides another opportunity to see whether the app is running properly or not and this is done using this avd here we can see there is this avd manager so to create an avd where avd stands for android virtual device we'll click on this button and, and here a window will open so here are all the avds i have already created previously you can create of your own if you need an avd so let's create a new virtual device so for that click on this create virtual device and we'll have this window open we'll have to select a phone from here so let's select nexus 5x and click next So here we will select this Android image here, click on next and then we'll have this configuration window open. We will put a name of our AVD. So let's keep it as Nexus 5X API 23 and let's click finish to create the AVD. So we can see here that our AVD is created. So now let's just run this AV or launch this AVD in the computer and minimize it. Here you can see starting AVD. We'll have to wait a bit for the AVD to launch. Here we can see the AVD is launched here and this will look like just your smartphone. This is a Nexus 5X of the Google and uh, it will take some time to launch and open properly. So our device has finally started and now we will run our app on this device. So for that click on this uh, run button, run app. So we'll click. Now a window will open which will ask for the AVD on which we want to run our app. Here you can see the this is the AVD we had created, Nexus 5X API 23.3 let's click on ok now while the app launches on this device let us have a bit understanding on what minimum sdk is minimum sdk or minimum software development kit provided by the android studio is nothing but the minimum api level on which your app will be working so for this project as we as we had chose 23 API level so it will work from API level 23 onwards on every Android devices so now let's wait for the app to launch on this device and we will see whether the app works properly or not so the gradle build is finished here APK is installing You can see the launching activity and here our app opens let's see so you can see this hello world printed on our app and you can see our app the name we selected 
at the beginning of creating our project the application name and if we go to this menu of the phone here in this menu section we can see that you know here is our app so we click and our app will open and it is showing the hello world so it is working properly so this was how the hello world app we can create on android studio and how the project structure for every android project looks like on android studio thank you for watching this video and staying with us see you next time